Hello and welcome to the CTM Newsbreak, where we keep you up to date on what's happening right here in town. I'm Diane Sherrod Steimel. A new beginning. The first major project to begin under the Route 129 area business amenity overlay district had a groundbreaking ceremony. Chelmsford Town officials and those involved with the Kinlock apartment complex were there. The Kinlock project is a combination of market rate units and affordable units that will be attracting uh, young professionals and small families into Chelmsford. And when we talk about 168 units, that's a lot of a population coming in new to Chelmsford that will be residing here, spending their money in Chelmsford, more than likely patroning um, a lot of the small businesses, medium-sized businesses. There's expected to be four buildings, and two of them will have underground parking, which is considered part of the amenities. Um, when you think about what that means in New England to have underground parking, um, it, it's quite a treat. There may also soon be another project in the works. We're hoping to have a commitment um, very soon for 197 Bill Ricca, which will be within walking distance to the Kinlock project at 104 uh, Turnpike. So a lot of these conversations also include connectivity, pathways, walkways, bikeways. Along with the connectivity, we've been preparing more of a sidewalk plan as well. So you'll see some of that connectivity. It's not just between the buildings and the private properties and things. There'll be a lot of public um, um, access for sidewalks and, and connectivity there. Construction is expected to be complete in April of 2020. The Chelmsford Library is looking to expand their services and would like to go to you. They're hoping to fund a mobile pop-up library van that will visit schools, playgrounds, senior housing, farmers markets, and community events. The Make Your Impact campaign officially kicked off November 27th as part of the Nationwide Giving Tuesday movement. We decided that given that Chelmsford is so geographically spread out that the idea of a bookmobile and it's not a traditional bookmobile. This is a truck that anybody with a normal license can drive. We can go to daycares, we can go to the beach, we can go to the farmer's market. So it's very easy to customize the pop-up bookmobile for whatever the event calls for. To date, we have raised $18,000, which includes a $15,000 leadership gift from the Friends of the Library. You can just go to the Chumshed Public Library website, find the donate button, and um, give their, their donation that way. Your donation may be eligible for a matching gift. You might like to see if your employer will make your donation have twice the impact. In other news, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker wants natural gas work better scrutinized after the Merrimack Valley tragedy. Officials will implement a pipeline safety management system, including safety measures for the inspection and improvement of natural gas lines. Massachusetts will be the first state to fully commit to the American Petroleum Institute's recommended practice, which was developed after multiple natural gas disasters to improve pipeline safety. Officials have also created legislation that would require natural gas work to be approved by a licensed professional engineer. And finally, Mother Nature finally cooperated as Chelmsford residents gathered at Thanksgiving Forest for a walk through the woods the day before Thanksgiving. There was a fire, hot chocolate, and cookies, courtesy of Boy Scout Troop 74. We'll be doing 1.2 miles. We'll go out to the Thanksgiving Rocks, where the, the town used to gather together 100 years ago. And uh, we gather there, we'll have hot chocolate, we'll have cookies, and Becky Warren of the Land Conservation Trust and Historic Society will give a speech on what is Thanksgiving to the kids. It'll be a lot of fun, great time, you can come anytime down here. We just decorated our troop tree for the scavenger hunt here at Thanksgiving Forest and we hope everybody can find it and have a lot of fun. This event is free and open to everyone including dogs on leashes who also got treats. Thanks for watching the CTM Newsbreak brought to you by Chelmsford Telemedia. If you have news we could use, contact us at newsbreak at chelmsfordtv.org. I'm Diane Sherrod-Steimel.